Would you rather have horrifying nightmares every night or see really scary things every day that aren't real? You know what? Even though I'm not putting much thought into this and I might regret it, I think uh, the nightmare one because I wouldn't want to walk around here and all of a sudden I look behind you and I see like Freddy Krueger. I used to um, get sleep paralysis where you're you're awake but you're asleeping you can't move and it's the it, I would never wish it upon my worst enemy. I don't really sleep that much anyway, so I guess I would choose the nightmares. That's really hard because I feel like if you were having nightmares, it must mean that something in your actual life is freaking, is freaking out. So it's like your subconscious is telling you. Like something bad is going down. So I might opt for the nightmares because then I, I could look at it that way. I could be I could get a perspective and be like, okay, what's going on in my life that's causing me to have these dreams? Nightmares. See really scary things every day that aren't really there. Have a horrifying nightmare. Yeah, you gotta wake up, right? Yeah, because you gotta wake up sometime. Totally. I have horrifying nightmares all the time, actually, um, yeah. filming this show. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> I think I would go with the one where you see crazy stuff all the time. Because cool. you get used to it. Would you rather be trapped in an insane asylum or in the cemetery? Oh, in the cemetery. In the insane asylum, uh, you wouldn't know what's going on. You'd be, I don't know, you'd be trapped in a room, maybe in a straitjacket, couldn't move. Uh, a cemetery would definitely be scary at night. But, I mean, we're out here at a cemetery, and it's beautiful. I know, it's so, wonderful. So, as of right now, I'm sticking with the cemetery. You know, I would say insane asylum because at least you have people to talk to. But a cemetery is, like, so nice because you're, like, outside at least. But cemetery, like, you're alone with a bunch of graves. I'd rather be with a bunch of people, even if they're crazy. I feel like a cemetery is full of stories, and I, I love walking around them and seeing everyone's names and thinking about their past. A cemetery. I like cemeteries. Beautiful, right? Yeah, I feel like good good vibes, not bad vibes here. Cemetery. Why is that? Well, in insane asylums, people are alive. Like, right. in cemeteries, it's crazy. like, I mean, I, I might drive myself insane, but I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Cemetery, because you know people are dead. Yeah. They can't come after you, and I don't really believe in ghosts. Sorry. So, you know, but in an insane asylum, people can actually like come at you. And they're actually crazy. They're actually crazy. Would you rather come face to face with a dead body or face to face with A? Wait, with a dead body or A? A, because the dead body is too real. A is not a real thing. A is like an imaginary character. Uh, dead body. You know, you. I, I think the difference is. If I didn't know who the dead body was, I wouldn't even know what my fate is if I ran into A. So we'll keep it at that. Real life A. I want to find out who this person is. And I, I'm small, but I feel like I could defend myself in my head. That's just how I always feel. So I feel like I'd be fine. I love A, but I would rather come into contact with a uh, with a with a dead body. I would rather see a dead body. Yeah. Than, than be threatened by death. Yeah. <laughs> dead body. They can't do anything. Dead body. For sure. Well, no, no, no. It depends on how gruesome it is. I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah. That's the one thing that I'm terrified of. It's like, you know, somebody like climbing on my window in the middle of the night who's like a serial killer or something. So I don't know. Yeah. That's too difficult. That's a difficult question. On the left, we have the craziest Pretty Little Liars fan theories of all time. And on the right, what we know about PLL season seven.